guys, it's me Charlie and on today's video I want to bring to your attention a great idea that the Chicken Fountain has come up with. These are called Brooder Bottle Caps and as you see you get a little um, description on how to use them and also if you're interested in this product I would definitely want you to go and check out the website. The Chicken Fountain website actually uh, will be in the description below this video and you guys are welcome to click on it so you can take a look at the products that they sell in their online store. If you're interested in buying the little bottle caps, uh, you can go ahead and go to the online store. And you'll see it's the very first product here. Click on it and it gives you a description on how you can use this bottle cap. So there's several different ways that you can use this bottle caps. You can use it on a 16 ounce bottle, a 12 ounce bottle, a 20 ounce bottle, or even a 2 liter pop bottle. The bottles have to be a um, standard size bottle because you want to make sure that the bottles are nice and strong. You don't want to use one of the smaller um, water bottles that are kind of um, soft and flimsy. Alright, so now comes the fun part. So all you got to do is get yourself a 12, 16, 20 ounce or 2 liter pop bottle. Here's an example of one of the pop bottles that I have here. Um, you want to start out by cleaning out your pop bottle very well, taking off the cap. And then you're going to want to take one of these little guys that actually have an attached, this is called a chicken nipple. And what happens is, is when your bird, either being a quail or baby chicks, or maybe even um, a small um, bird that's inside of your cage, they'll go ahead and lick this and the water will come out. And I'll show you what that looks like later. So what you do is you take your uh, water bottle and you go ahead and twist this on to the water bottle. Once you get that on securely with the water inside, which actually will be like this. This is actually a water bottle with vitamins in it that I add because it's a safe way to keep your um, water clean when you're giving birds water. And then I also have a two liter pop bottle with the chicken nipple on the end. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this looks like upside down and the water coming out. So that way you guys can get an idea on how this is used for, maybe you have a bunch of baby birds that you need to use a two liter pop bottle. So once you get your chicken nippler um, bottle cap, brooder bottle cap, then you can note, you'll notice that it's not going to leak once it's on, um, positioned into the cage. But when the birds are curious and they're interested in drinking, they will actually come up and they're going to tap this part and the water will start to come out and that's how they'll be able to drink their water. This is actually a great idea to use for any type of baby birds that are um, going to need nice clean water all the time. And this is also a great idea for a lot of you who do keep button quails or other types of birds in your cage. They can go ahead and lick this and constantly the water will come out without getting your water dirty. So that's one of the great ideas about getting these brooder bottle caps. So the best thing to do after purchasing this, or before purchasing this, I should say, is definitely re the, read the description about the Bruder bottle caps. And the reason why it's going to tell you that when you get your water bottle that's either going to be 12, 16, or 20 ounces, or even 2 liters, um, you're going to want to poke a hole at the bottom of your water bottle, and that way you can go ahead and allow the water to properly um, allow the pressure to come through so this water will come out because eventually if you do not poke a hole in the bottom of the bottle it will actually eventually stop the water flow from happening and your birds will get dehydrated and probably pass away so make sure you do that and poke a little hole follow the directions on the website and that way this will properly work every single time now the last thing to show you guys is um, I went to the hardware store and I was able to buy this wire. This wire actually is um, a flexible wire that you can go ahead and cut into the size that you want because you're going to want to be able to attach the bottle to the birdcage. So I formed it into like a U and I took the tips and I kind of bent them down. And this is just something you got to come up with by yourself and you got to figure out. And then once you do come up with the right size around the bottle, then you can go ahead and attach your bottle to the cage. I'll go ahead and show you that next so you guys get an idea what it looks like. All right, for the last part here, um, I heard a little call from outside and it was the Sarama. She decided to call me because she wanted to be a star in this video. So I wanted to go ahead and show you what I did. Um, you notice here that I bend the wire, put it around the bottle, and I fastened it on the inside. And that's because the bottle goes straight up and down. So this bottle is 
very tight on there because it works for me. It has these little ridges, so it works out for me. And this is where the water is going to leak. And from the inside there, that's at her level. And if the chicken is thirsty and she wants to drink some water, she'll go ahead and she'll drink from it. I don't think she's going to do what we want on command. But if she did, wouldn't that be cool? See? Some water down there for you. This is my Malaysian Sarama. She's a very small Sarama. She's class A. And this is um, the brooder bottle cap that you guys will be able to find out the details on the website. So don't forget you guys to take a look at the website and look at some other items that they might have and definitely give this one a try and as you can see here it's got a description about what you need to do and all the details are on the chicken fountain. Alright, thanks you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Give it a thumbs up if you like if you're watching this on YouTube and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.